What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 6 in this video here today. So Melissa Barrera was asked about getting chased by Ghostface in New York at the Toronto International Film Festival. Since she had a movie premiere there recently, I think it's called Carla or Carmen, most likely Carmen. Uh, Collider reported this earlier and I want to shout out to you, K, because I know I saw your tweet related to this. So shout out to you if you're listening to this video. Uh, this was a very interesting excerpt where she concluded saying she probably said too much and I don't think you've said too much I just think you've said enough to get us speculating and get our minds going and get us excited uh, Other people of course involved with the production might think she said too much but that's none of our business So when asked what she could tell us about what it means to be chased by Ghostface in a big city rather than a small town of Woodsboro uh, she was enthusiastically forthcoming with her answer. This again is coming from the Collider article. She said it's like 20 times more mortifying. It's awful because you also see how in a city like New York, everyone is kind of doing their own thing and someone is screaming for help and no one will come to their help. No one comes to help them, you know, like everyone's kind of like, I'm not getting into that. So it's a mortifying so it's mortifying because you're chased by Ghostface, but you also see humanity and how that reacts in a situation like that anyway i think i've probably said too much and again i don't think you've said too much at all uh this is a very interesting excerpt because i know a lot of us me included are wanting to see some chase scenes in this movie a lot of people are wanting to see a subway chase scene some people think again something will happen in a bodega which i'll elaborate on in a second uh chase scenes are something that many people think are a necessity for this movie considering how they weren't really present for screen five so and the chase scene again is something that can build a lot of tension it can offer somebody an iconic iconic moment in the series like it did for gail weathers in scream 2 from courtney cox's amazing performance in that sequence and of course the things that happened to david arquette's dewey during that sequence where we thought we lost him again uh so this chase scene that she may or may not be teasing related to herself and tara again is she referencing her own chasing because a lot of people have said that they think tara and sam get chased out of a bodega in scream six and i mean the idea alone of what she said is scary to be out like that and no one stops to help you probably because again this might also back up this movie occurring around halloween time for for a section of it and people of course are not going to take you seriously similar to how we saw if you look at the original halloween which i know probably many of you have Lori goes around trying to knock on people's doors after she goes over to the house and finds her friends dead. Nobody's listening to her because it's happening on Halloween night. They think it's a joke. So something similar could happen like that to Sam in a way. So New Yorkers probably also have become desensitized to crime, at least the New Yorkers in this universe. New Yorkers probably again have become desensitized to crime ridden areas or certain events and don't pay it any attention because it might be the norm for them uh i i think if julius were still alive I, i'm sure he'd love to shoot the fade with ghostface but sadly jason took care of him that's a nod to friday the 13th part eight for any of you who did not get that hopefully the chase scenes in scream six are memorable because i'm also thinking that if sam has a chase scene like that where no one is really paying attention to her that sounds like literally that sounds like a nod to jason takes manhattan in a lot of ways Screen 2's opening even though those people were more distracted for a good reason uh and again what i just talked about with the halloween 1978 ending where people won't take you seriously if a certain thing is occurring and it's falling on halloween but again this might not have anything to do with halloween new york in general and new yorkers in general might just be so preoccupied with their own lives and what's going on and this might be going on in a very uh busy busy area of town so when things start happening to sam nobody cares they see ghostface and they see that she's literally in danger and they keep walking i've seen people talk about this from that are from new york so i know a lot of people from new york would say that sounds about right that sounds exactly like new york and not even just new york a lot of people can tell you they live in areas where the stuff like this goes down people will see crime happening turn the other cheek to it because one they don't want to risk their lives and two they don't want the people that are committing the crime seeing them witness it and then of course again but that relates to putting themselves at jeopardy putting themselves at risk like the person who they just walked past sure you could say it's inhumane but in a lot of ways for them they don't care they want to protect themselves so they can make it out to go 
to work the next day to continue living life so if a sequence like this goes down in scream six with sam and tara and ghostface that's going to be very interesting obviously i would think that they make it out of it alive but it might be a very terrifying sequence that's enhanced by the fact that we see them cornered and nobody is doing anything so many people are around them and nobody seems to care it's a very crowded environment where they're not too far off from a crowd and you could say this kind of gives shades or might be a slight nod to helen shivers death in death in i know what you did last summer which sarah michelle Gellar acted so brilliantly in that role during that chase sequence one of the best chase sequences not only from the 90s but in the horror genre in general uh definitely in the chasing hall of fame so if sam and tara get something like that in scream six i would hope that this is most likely going to be sam in this role uh tara i would prefer to see her get a chase scene on the college campus but if it's both of them combined the more the better because again those two have great chemistry together melissa barrera and jenna ortega they have great chemistry together that sibling dynamic between them is very believable so if they are getting chased by ghostface outside of a bodega and it's around like a big crowd of people who just don't take it seriously that's more or less going to end up providing a lot of tension and suspense because of the fact that you the viewer know that they're in danger you're in the same position as them now as you see all these people around them just kind of go eh i'm not gonna do anything there just keep on walking and again if it's set on halloween night i can understand why they would keep walking because they might think it's a joke but we'll see what ultimately ends up happening with any chase scenes in scream six if we get it do you think sam and tara will have a chase scene in scream six outside of a bodega do you think that this this quote from Melissa Barrera is a sign of stuff related to her character, Tara's character, or someone else who's going to be going through something like this in Scream 6, or do you think she might just be talking in a general sense? I think she's, of course, hinting at an event that will occur in the movie, because I don't really see why she would talk like this if it's not going to happen, but stranger things have happened. And I also want to chime in and, sh and just share a last minute comment. I know some of you were like talking about this image that popped up on Twitter from the Scream Spain account that you thought was from Scream 6. If you haven't seen anything about my tweet and you're just now finding out through this video, that was not from Scream 6. That was from somebody on Twitter and Instagram, I believe they have, uh, Ghostface Collector underscore Finn, who does amazing cosplay work. So that's not an image from Scream 6. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video